Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest 3 The Kindred. Uh, we're back in the hospital because I didn't save in the parking lot of the mall. Um, so we're going to head out. Um, we've spoken to Marie, who is in a coma. And yeah, now we're going to head back. Um, also, I've been told that apparently we could have spoken to that detective guy. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get whoever this is anyway. Seems like we're probably going to like take this on as, as our like personal case now. Um... Makes sense, I suppose. What you end up with is a burning desire to find and crucify the slime that hurt your wife. Makes sense. Yeah, so apparently this guy, we, we could actually speak to him, so I think we'll just do that. Um, looks like another one bit the dust then, eh? Um, oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Uh, listen, you little blood-sucking piece of filth. The victim was my wife. You guys are all the same. Now get out of here before I forget that I'm wearing this badge. I'll give your paper some details, alright? All about how I rearranged your face. Oh jeez, look officer, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I'm just trying to get the facts. I thought you cops liked that kind of loose talk. Uh, it helps keep things from getting too serious, know what I mean? Here's my card. If there is anything I can ever help you with, officer, give me a ring. Sorry again about your wife. Oh, okay. I mean, I thought we were just going to threaten him, but he's given us his card, which I... I I don't know if we got that last time or not. I can't remember if he gave us the card when he walked off and said about us not speaking to him. Uh, not sure, but whatever. Um, we'll just save because of that anyway, just in case. Um, got reporter's card. All right, so this, this is Marie's car, right? Marie's Trans Am still sits in the poorly lit car parking lot of the mall. You scan the car for clues, but you find nothing. Uh, try to search the area, but it's too dark to see anything. Perhaps you should come back when it's light. No, because we have a flashlight. Batteries appear to be dead. That's why we needed the batteries from the storeroom. Okay. Right, so if we hadn't gone back and got those batteries... You turn your flashlight on and begin a search of the scene. Do we do we have to actually, like, move around? Oh, please don't tell me that the, um... That the batteries are, like, limited in terms of... Better stay clear of this area, Sonny. We're sweeping for evidence. Uh, okay, so where can we... Where can we search? Is there like... Find nothing. Okay, I mean is it... What, what are we looking for here? Is it a case of just searching... These areas where there's like no lights? Hmm. Is there anything over here? No. I mean, this is where it all went down, right? Like, here at the side of the car. So I would, Im I would imagine... We scan the car for clues. I would imagine there'd be, like, something around here, if there's going to be anything. But this is lit anyway. Oh, hang on, what was that? Was there something there? Yeah, look, hang on. You see that there? Something flashed. There. You catch the glint of an object lying just beneath Marie's car. You pick up what appears to be a medallion. Upon closer inspection, you recognise it to be a Bronze Star War Medal. Ah, okay. Well, that's interesting. So we found a Bronze War Medal. Whoop, whoop. What is going on there? <laughs> it's going all over the place. Found Bronze War Medal. Okay, now is there anything else around here? Let's just have a look. Anything at the front of the car? I'm not seeing anything. Let's go this way. Okay, yeah, so we can't go behind the car. So, I mean, maybe that was literally it. Maybe we just needed to be able to see that with the torch. Let's see it glinting, I guess. Can we go Can we go this way? No, we can't. All right, let's have a look at this. So, the broken chain... 
On the back of the Bronze Star is a number, 09987. So that's probably like a like a soldier number or something. And I'm I'm wondering if this and this goes together. Whether this is like the, the chain that goes with that. What else have we got there? What's that? Oh, it's the reporter's business card. His phone number is 555-0707. Okay. So we've got these flares. I don't I don't think we necessarily need that. So maybe I mean we saved when we found that, so maybe we head home now? Because that was why we came here, right? Physically and emotionally exhausted, you decide to go home and get some rest. Okay, 5 a.m. we get back home. Let's write that down. Okay, that's relentless. Um, even half asleep, you recognise Captain Tate's stern voice. Bonds, rise and shine, pal. I need you back in homicide today. We've got work to do. Report in plain clothes. Sleepily, you reply, I'll be there before 1400 hours, Captain. You hate waking up without Marie next to you. Alright, fine. So we've got a report in plain clothes. So that's uh, fine. So we're back on homicide as well. So we're not on the traffic patrols today. You go through the motions of getting ready for work. Okay, nice. We're uh, we're ready. It's a nightstand. Marie was so excited about buying this house. She loved decorating this room and handpicking each accessory. It's your bed. It looks empty without Marie. Can we like make the bed? <laughs> nice. Uh, can we? You glance at the phone and hope that nobody bothers you at home for once. Uh, Marie's clothes and personal items. On the shelf there's several of her favourite mementos including a music box. Oh shoot, can we get that? We can. I wonder if we can like take that to the hospital. I wonder if we can like take, you know how the doctor said like we're the last chance that Marie has of waking up or something? I wonder if we have to like take specific things to the hospital and like say specific things to try and get her out of the coma. That could be a thing, right? Uh, Marie used to cut up in that chair for hours. This was her favorite little reading area. Is, is there like a book anywhere or anything? Maybe we can read read the book. No, okay. Uh, okay, I don't think there's anything else there. Let's, let's just have a really in-depth look at this stuff just to Okay, no, I don't... How do we get out of here? Is it this way? Or is it... Because that looked like the bathroom, right? So I'd imagine... Is this, is this the way out? How do we actually get out of the room? <laughs> it's, it, there's no obvious way out. Oh, there we go. Okay, 1327, we're back at work. What's that? It's just the underground garage. I thought that was something there on the floor, that little thing, but I don't think it is. What's this, like a manhole? Maybe. Anyway, yeah, press the button, all right, we're gonna press the button. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll actually save. And we'll just like, oh, I think it's because I'm holding down for too long, it's then like cycling through those things. Okay, fine. Uh, station. So let's head inside. The captain wants to see us and wants us to go back onto homicide. So that's that's fine. Why does that take so long? <laughs> uh, so we probably want to go. Do you know what? Let's go to one because I want to see if there's anything else in this cupboard <laughs> that came in quite handy last time. I doubt we need to go in here and change. Plenty of batteries, plenty of flares. Okay, no. Nothing else in there. Um, so we've got this stuff. Yeah, so we have got this with us. So I wonder if we can take that to Marie. Anyway, he, he told us to come in plain clothes, right? So it wouldn't make sense to go in here and get changed into uniform or something like that. So let's just, for now go up here. I, I wonder if we can like search 
records for who that bronze medal might belong to. Let's see if we got like we, we I mean we've got Oh you're in the homicide division now. Oh, okay. So we're just like changing desks all over the place. Is this homicide over here? Yeah. Okay, fine. In we go. Good morning, everyone. Well, good afternoon, I should say. Welcome back, Bonds. I'm sorry to hear about your wife, Marie. I'm assigning you to her case since I know you won't be able to concentrate on anything else. Marie's case number is 199144. 199144. 199144. Might want to review another stab case 199 i think that's 137 that went very quickly though introduce you to your new partner me officer pat morales your new partner fantastic that's the one we disciplined oh no not you hey bonds looks like we're stuck working together eh yay sorry if i've been a little rough around the edges lately i'm not so bad once you get to know me and he's off Okay, should we like talk? Don't worry, your lady will pull through. Who's this? You interrupt Earl's reading. What's new in the local reg, Earl? There's a good article in here about the newspaper helping another department find a witness to a shooting. Can we look at that? Oh, he's very possessive about his newspaper. Alright, so I'm guessing this is our desk here. The desk is near the filing cabinet. He always keeps it locked. Uh, where did you find anything of interest on the bulletin board? Okay. Anything in our basket? Uh, it doesn't look like it. A phone, computer, drawers? Can we look in there? Can we go on the computer? Uh, I, I wanted to go on the... I wanted to go on... I wanted to go on the computer. There we go. Because we've got this access card thing, right? Which, I, is it this? Yeah, Lit and PD. Okay, so we've got DMV, Homicide, Personnel and Tools. Homicide. Review case. Okay, yeah, let's have a look at this stuff. So we wrote down those two case numbers. One was 199137, I think. So this was the similar case, right? So victim, Clifford Jones, uh, suspect none, John Childs was the investigator. Cause of death, lacerated heart and liver due to multiple stab wounds. Puncture wounds measuring six by one. That's like, we don't use this, this uh, method of measuring stuff here. Indicate that weapon is being a dagger. Uh, hair clutched in victim's hand, lab analysis, blood type A negative. Incisions in the shape of a pentagram were located in the lower left quadrant of the torso. The pentagram was carved after death. The suspects during the process of a burglary were interrupted by the victim. A struggle ensued and the victim was murdered. Burglary is the motive. The pentagram thing could be very important. The A negative thing could be very important. So, let's... um. Go to the Marie one now. One nine nine one four four. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna remember the pentagram thing. Marie Bonds, um, investigator Sunny Bonds, victim in coming with multiple stab wounds. Same, uh, same weapon used. Suspects were frightened off during the attempt on the victim's life. Motive robbery. Continue. Okay, so I wonder if we missed a page on that other one actually. Uh, one nine nine one three seven. Let's just double check we didn't miss a page. Uh, no, we didn't. Okay, fine. Serial number. I don't know what that's for. New file. I mean, I don't. I don't. What happens if we just do that? Anything? No match. Fine. New file. New ca- Oh. Okay. Fine. Let's quit that. Um, so we've got DMV, which is the thing we used in the car. Personnel, so we can look through everybody. 
I wonder if we can look through the guy who... Yeah, John Childs, that was it. Police officer of the year 1978. Is active in homicide. Badge number 6589. Okay, fine, interesting. Tools. Drawing composite city map. Oh, wow. So are we going to have to do this? Like, put together a... Like a thing of what we think the the guy looks like. City map. Plot crimes. Check pattern. Oh, jeez. This looks like it's going to be really tricky. All right. Well, we'll try and figure out some of this in the next one anyway, because we're out of time. But yeah, seems like we're going to have our work cut out for us. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Tumly Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.